Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 18th. So we're just going to see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. This reading is not sign specific and it is not time specific. Okay. I do kind of like getting one of these. So we're going to get one of these to start and just, you know, see what it has to say. So what do we have for around the 18th? What do we have for around the 18th? Tiger. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. Somebody's going to be doing something risky around the 18th, you know. There's risky business every time you uh walk out the door. Anyhow, doing something risky, taking a chance. So, hmm, somebody's going to be taking a big chance by the looks of things. See what do we got? I do it every time I get on Facebook, but we will we'll just change this up subject. Um, hmm. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Now the Knight of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is irresponsible, unfaithful, unhealthy. This is somebody that is greedy. Not qualified, boring, uh, a sponger of some sort. Some, you know, somebody may be. This is no long-term plan. This is no contingency plan. Uh, no, not uh, meeting goals, not setting goals, not having any goals. We have an individual here that isn't very focused. Okay, they they don't have any long-term plans. So you know, you may you may be thinking you're gonna get something long-term out of somebody. The answer is no. Okay, this person is not qualified for the job. They're irresponsible. They're not looking for something long-term. They don't have any staying power at all. Okay, interesting. Um, ooh, not interested. Not interested. Uh, yeah. We have somebody here that is definitely not interested. They're not interested in a relationship. That is the Ace of Cups. Okay, so, you know, somebody is thinking about doing something risky, but whoever they're, they're uh, dealing with, you know, uh, really isn't that interested. Okay, they're not that interested. They are. They, they're not interested in a relationship. They're not. They're focused on some previous hurt from the past. Okay, they're focused on somebody else. It's a third party situation. They're focused on somebody else that they have parted ways from. Okay, they're not really focused on having a relationship right now. They may be looking for something short term. You know, it could be very short term, but you know, a lot of people only hear what they want to hear. Okay. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Now this is uh, now this is unstable, insecure, uh, doesn't know their value. This person is looking for somebody that doesn't know their value. Okay, so hey, if you don't know your value, then you're a prime target for this person who has no long-term goal. They're definitely looking for an individual that isn't is weak. Okay, they're looking looking for somebody that is weak. Now, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is an individual that is lazy, that is, uh, doesn't really have a lot to offer, um, is insecure. This person is looking for somebody that is insecure so they can probably, you know, take advantage of them. So just beware, okay? Um, oh my God. God. So, okay. So now we got the Empress reversed. Okay. We have a, we definitely have a feminine here that really doesn't know her value. Okay. She doesn't know her value. She doesn't know her worth. She's still in some sort of pain. This is a feminine. This ain't no man. This is a feminine. Okay. 
that doesn't know her value. This this woman doesn't know her value. She has affairs. She sleeps around. She uh, explores her options. She's very needy. Very, very, very needy. Uh, doesn't want to be alone. So we have somebody that doesn't want to be alone. Um, doesn't take very good care of herself. Sulking, feeling lonely, looking for love. Definitely looking for love, but engaging with somebody that is definitely not interested in anything long term. This person is only interested in uh, stability, okay, or interested in uh, not stability even, doesn't even care. This person doesn't even care about stability. This person is unfaithful. Uh, they don't plan on sticking around. It feels like it's just... Uh, for a minute it's for a minute that kind of thing this is no long-term plan so we have a we have a feminine here that and maybe this has already happened that has gotten themselves involved with an individual that had no plan of staying with them no staying power at all none the this empress in reverse is a feminine that really is needy very very needy probably uh hasn't been taken care of and she and she hasn't been taken care of because she doesn't love herself when you don't love herself you can't expect somebody else to love you but whatever uh the empress in reversed is uh somebody that is self-absorbed very very um insecure very insecure interesting sad though this person is sad they're looking for love and they're dealing with an individual that may appear to be so solid but this person isn't okay oh oh it's all about sex there's no long-term plan here it is definitely all about sex it's all about uh getting them desires met it's gonna go south really 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 fast it definitely is. There's no real even attraction here. There's 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 no attraction. There's no attraction. There isn't. And I think it's I think there's a there's I think it's I think it's a masculine energy that is not really attracted to this person. This person doesn't know their value. They they they're low vibrational, okay? This person is low vibrational. They are. And when you're dealing with somebody that's low vibrational, they're definitely an easy target. Okay, this is definitely an easy woman. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh my God. No commitment. It's in reverse again. There's no commitment here. This is somebody that's not going to... It's a hit and run. This is a freaking hit and run. This is a... That it's what it is. And I don't mean by a car either. This is a hit it and quit it. Okay, no commitment. So we have a feminine here that doesn't know her value, that is looking for love, that is about to take a risk and take a chance with an individual that has no uh, intention of falling in love, no intention of it being long term. And maybe this is what has already happened. And maybe that is what happened because this is a broken marriage, a broken commitment. There's no more. It's gone south. Perhaps the relationship gone south. It went south. Somebody, you know, this person up here was focused on a loss when they, when they got involved, when they, and they were looking for somebody that was insecure and weak. They got into a commit, somebody got into a commitment with an individual that wasn't, and we talked about this yesterday, that wasn't, uh, looking for a long-term relationship, but they may have said that they were, it feels like they said that they were. Um, this person took action and, and they moved really, really fast. And so it happened really fast. This is happening really, really, really fast. It's definitely very, it's definitely a sexual connection. That's all it is. That is all it is. Um, hmm. It's lust. It's, it, was, it is lust. Oh, God. Unrequited love. We finally got another one upright. No, my deck isn't reversed, okay? You got this one on the bottom. It's not reversed. Um, and I want to hear it. 
Anyhow, this is this is uh, unrequited love. This is a one-sided relationship. Somebody's going to get their bubble burst, or they are there's going to there's some sort of uh, something is coming to a halt. Okay, it's coming to a stop. A relationship is coming to a halt, or you know, the commitment. Somebody got themselves involved in a commitment very, very fast. Very, very fast. Um, whoever they were dealing with was still thinking about uh, somebody that hurt them. They were, and this is a playoff to yesterday. It absolutely is. This is a this is an unrequited love situation. There's not any desire. There's not even any attraction. It was for sex. Okay, it was, and it may have been to punish because this is punishment. They may have been trying to punish. You know, people do that shit. They're trying to punish the one that they love by getting involved with another person. Feels like it's some sort of punishment. Somebody was trying to punish another person by, by you know, I'm going to go get myself a third party. I'm going to go get myself somebody else on the fly really, really quick to punish. This is punishment. To punish the other person. So I feel like that was their... That was their uh, Reason that's the reason they got involved so fast. That Knight of Wands is very, very fast. They picked somebody that was very insecure that they could, uh, you know, use. I'm sorry, but I feel like that's what this is. Um, the hangman is becoming enlightened. Okay, that's becoming enlightened. This is this is is, is a need to let go. This is learning some sort of lesson. And this lesson is about self-worth. Somebody is learning. And this, you know, the universe works in mysterious ways. This is a lesson. And these, this is about self-worth. Somebody is, is about to learn a lesson. Or they have learned a lesson. Or maybe they had, it looks like they had to learn it the hard way. About self-worth. Now, the page of cups reversed is uh, somebody's bubble being burst. This is a rejection. This is an insincere offer of love, okay? By an individual that was trying to punish somebody else, okay? That's, that's exactly what we got here. There wasn't even any desire. There wasn't. It, it Almost from the beginning, there wasn't a desire. The desire was to punish. Which is sick, I know, but people do that. So anyway, um... To prove something. This is about proving a point. Somebody had a point to prove. I'll go find somebody else. Even though they, I love the other person. It was unrequited love. I feel like it was unrequited love from the beginning. Anyway, that knight of pentacles reversed. That is something coming to a stop. But this is a split or a breakup. The hero font reversed. We have we have a relationship that just isn't on the same page. And I don't think it was on the same page from day one. I don't. I don't think it was. Somebody was on a lot under a lot of social pressure. That's what the hero font is. They were under a lot of social pressure. And they may have been embarrassed or disgraced by, you know, a separation or something like that. So they had to prove themselves. Definitely somebody had to prove themselves to society, you know, that they could have it all. So they chose somebody that was weak, that could, you know, that they could uh, take advantage of. That is what I have. Somebody, this is what we have. They did something risky. And now I'm just telling you, somebody's going to do this. This is about to, somebody did it. And now, they, you know, this is a lesson. The hangman is about a lesson. I got a plane flying over. So somebody is about to learn a lesson, whether you've learned it already or not. Somebody is about to start this lesson. We have a feminine here, and the empress is a female, and I don't give a shit what anybody says. I really don't. Kind of like politics. You believe what you want, and I'm going to believe what I want, and I really don't care. This is a feminine, as far as I'm concerned. That is weak. She is needy. And she doesn't know her value. And she gets herself involved in a commitment with an individual that really 
isn't interested. This person really isn't interested because they are hurting over another partnership. But this person needs attention, even though it's negative attention. So they choose the weakest option. The weakest option has probably now become enlightened. Because they are probably realizing, because this is realizing, that this isn't love. This isn't love. This isn't going anywhere. Because they, pro they may have had a conversation about marriage with this person. And this person has no intention of getting married. You are going to need to find your strength and your confidence and your willpower and your determination to struggle through whatever it is that you are hanging on to, that you are sacrificing yourself for. And I don't know what it is. Maybe you're, you're sac somebody is sacrificing themselves for a relationship that isn't, it, there's no attraction, there's no love. There's no desire. There's, it's like, it's going nowhere. It's gone south. These two people are not on the same page. And, and, and they're, but they're under a lot of social pressure to stay. So somebody's under a lot of social pressure to stay. Hold on one second. was saying stop so maybe that was for you stop stop whatever that means I was just telling them to stop so this the hangman is is about it's it's this is uh, about learning a lesson okay thinking about what has happened somebody had a lesson to learn and it's time to let it go it's time to stop hanging on to a relationship or a commitment where there's no passion there's no life left in it. It's one-sided. There's no reciprocation. Okay? But we have a very weak feminine here who probably is under a lot of social pressure like the other one. Maybe they feel there's embarrassment here. It takes a lot of courage and confidence To do what you have to do and not worry about what anybody else thinks. You gotta you gotta be fearless. So anyway, somebody needs to find their strength. They need to find their strength to let go. These this card and this card. They need to find their strength to let go of this undesirable. Uh, unrequited love situation you know that you know they, they're not happy they're not happy there but the social pressure is humongous and the embarrassment so I feel like it's I mean the knight of pentacles was the first card out the knight of pentacles reversed is um, a dropping out not qualified whoever they got in, involved with really wasn't qualified they weren't interested they weren't interested from the beginning or you weren't somebody what really wasn't interested but they did it for the social status to make it look good so around the 18th it appears that somebody this is the last card so this is thinking about letting it go thinking about the self-worth getting a new perspective, seeing things differently. So the 18th is going to be about, you know, going within, feeling like a victim as well. There's victim mentality here. So somebody may, you know, it could be sad. It could be because this is struggle. It's struggling. There's some sort of, you know, I'm a victim here. Well, yeah, you're a victim if you don't know your worth. This is a lesson of self-worth, okay? It really is. So somebody is, is learning their self-worth. So I think around the 18th, this is, again, going to be kind of like self-love. 
somebody has been in a loveless situation and they've been hanging on to it. This is hanging on, the hangman, hanging on because of social pressure. But if you are single, if you are single, you may be thinking about taking a risk. You may be thinking about taking a chance. My advice is to make sure whoever you are dealing with is qualified for the job and that, you know, they're over their ex. Make sure they're over their ex because this is the ex-partner as well. Make sure they're over their ex. Otherwise, you're going to get dropped like a hot potato. Or you could get used. You could get used. So, uh, good luck.